Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about corn tasseling. Well, it seems kind of a stretch when we're in this field of corn that, that was planted late, it's small, uh, but in some areas of the country, corn's been tasseling for a long time. When we think about corn, the way that corn grows, it grows through all the vegetative stages first, then it hits the reproductive stages at the end of the season. That all begins when those tassels come out because that's where the pollen is on corn plants. What happens then with this pollen, once there's pollen shed, in effect, this pollen coming off the tassel, it's going to land on the silk. And we just want you to understand what these silks actually are. It's basically a tube for fertilization from where a kernel is going to develop. So every individual silk will attach down into that corn ear where a kernel is going to develop. That tube, in effect, goes all the way out, catches the pollen, and each individual silk has to get fertilized for that kernel to grow. Once the kernel has been pollinated, in effect, then that silk detaches itself, and that's when the silk dies because it is now detached from the plant. So once it's dying, then eventually it's going to turn brown. So as farmers, we talk about the brown silk stage. Once you see brown silks out in your field, you know that every one of those silks got fertilized, it pollinated, the ear is now getting fully formed because each individual kernel is getting formed and the silks have detached from the ear. Tasseling is one of those critical weather times in a corn crop because we need to have weather that's not too hot and too dry. So if farmers get cool weather and get a little bit of rain when their corn is tasseling and starting to shed pollen, that really helps improve how that corn does in terms of pollinating that ear. So this is one of those times if we get really stressful weather, it it can damper our yield expectations pretty quickly and you'll see that many times during the summer if we get that hot dry spell at the wrong time it can really affect things. The other thing to think about here is tasseling occurs after a certain number of heat units. So with corn since it does develop based on heat once we have achieved a total amount of heat during the season then we've had all the leaf stages occur we've had tasseling occur and tasseling is actually considered the last of the vegetative stages. Silk when the silks start to come out, that's considered the first stage of reproduction in the corn plant, even though I just find it funny because already at V3 with a tiny little plant, we've got ear shoots initiated. You know, the other thing when we're talking about that end of the vegetative stages, that's really where corn quits trying to increase the root mass. Now that root mass is just being used to feed the ear after that. So it is this time in a corn plant's life where there's this big changeover. Instead of worrying about growing big and tall and growing a great big root system, now all the energy gets focused to making an ear. Well, once again, corn tasseling is a tremendously important time in a corn plant's life. And if corn tasseling goes well, and pollen shed goes well, usually you end up with fairly decent yields. Well, if you want good yields, you have to stop our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how coming up later in the show.